Hello and assalamu alaikum my lovely doctors. This is Dr. Rasia and I'm here today with asthma guidelines. Uh, as in my previous video, lots of people have commented that they want to know about asthma guidelines. So I thought I will do this video uh, for you guys. So next video is going to be about uh, asthma guidelines in children. This one I'm doing today is uh, uh, in adults. Um, so also um, some of you have uh, privately messaged me and said that if I can sell my notes uh, so the answer is actually no uh, only because I want to share uh, my notes and my knowledge with as much people as I can and uh, I'm not sharing it because I, I well you know what let me tell you guys there was actually someone who um, like who wanted to charge me about 600 pounds for his notes uh, but I don't want to I'm not interested in selling my notes I'm just going to share here as much as I can also um, my exam is uh, my plab to exam is in October end of October so I thought I have a little bit of time so I will try to help you guys as much as I can uh, but I do need your response if you like share and subscribe and also if you guys comment down below and tell me uh, what topics you want me to do here um, I have my personal notes I've studied from Swami and Plavable and I've made my own notes um, so I'll share with you guys and I will try to be as concise as possible uh, I know this video is getting a little bit longer uh, so guys let's get started with asthma guidelines in adults all right you guys this might not be very professional uh, but don't worry I am going to share uh, the pictures of these notes afterwards just because I need to add a few explanations right now that's why I will explain to you guys first and um, then also I will um, add pictures right so we are starting with asthma treatment which is acute treatment um, which you can say when a person is in status asthmaticus uh, and it's an adult okay right so oxygen which will be 100% via non-breathable bag remember this is 100% oxygen via non-breathable bag whereas in COPD we use 24% oxygen and that is via venturi mask but this one is 100% oxygen via non-breathable bag right and if that doesn't work we will give nebulized salbutamol and Iprotopium bromide. If that also doesn't work, we will give the patient steroids, which can be IV or oral. And then if that doesn't work, we will give magnesium sulfate. If that doesn't work, we'll move on to aminophylline. Aminophylline, if that doesn't work, then theophylline. And if theophylline also doesn't work in the end, we will do general anesthesia and intubation. Okay? So very famous thing in GMC scenarios called the anesthetist and intubate. So if all these things don't work, we will call the anesthetist, give general anesthesia and intubate. So guys, this one is just the acute management. Now let's move on to the long term management of asthma in adults, which is here. Right. Sorry guys for not being very pro, as long as the knowledge uh, is you know, being shared and you guys understand, right? So we will start with, at stage one, we will give the patient Saba, right? And if that does not work, and if patient still has an, uh, an attack three times in a week, then we will move on to step two. So the step two here is Saba plus inhaled corticosteroids. These are low dose corticosteroids, which is 200 to 800 milligram. If this step doesn't work, step two doesn't work, which is if patient still having more than four attacks in a week, then we will move on to step three, right? Which is Saba and inhaled corticosteroids in higher dose which is maximum dose 2000 milligram and if patient is still having an attack 
two times in a week then we go on a trial so trial guys here i am going to share that what is the trial in a little bit but we move on to trial or we move on to saba plus oral steroids iv so these two these two here low dose steroids high dose steroids these are oral then we move on to iv steroids saba plus iv steroids now in step 3 after step 3 what is the trial why we go to trial okay so we go to step 4 or we do trial All right so the trial is we will check diagnosis if the patient is really asthmatic check technique and number three we will see if the patient is more than five years old and the patient has five, uh, day symptoms and then if patient is in this situation we will add laba and we will add salmetrol another scenario if the patient is less than five years old or the asthma is exercise triggered then add leukotrienes now these two situations are in trial okay so after step three we move on to trial now after the treatment guys uh, after that's my treatment in adults um, there are a few points I wanted to share with you guys these three points so the first point here is if a patient is having exercise induced asthma right the treatment would be sodium chromoglycate this is very important guys remember exercise induced asthma the treatment would be so sodium chromoglycate okay now there's a difference between exercise induced and exercise triggered right what is exercise triggered which we have just talked about in trial right so exercise triggered means that a patient is already a known asthmatic and he has an asthma attack only when he's exercising right so exercise induced means that a patient is not a known asthmatic he is only having the attacks when he is exercising i hope you guys understand right so this person exercise induced one doesn't have asthma attacks normally but has asthma attacks only when he exercises right but the other exercise triggered means he has asthma attacks anyway but his asthma is triggered by exercise right i hope you guys understand right so salbutamol right remember the salbutamol causes arrhythmias right another point regarding asthma to remember for gmc scenarios for plab one is asthma if a patient has asthma and the patient has allergy to all medications then what do we give him we give him we will add leukotrienes for example montelukast patient with asthma has allergy to medications the treatment would be we'll add leukotrienes to his treatment we'll add leukotrienes to his treatment perfect thank you guys bye bye all right guys um please let me know what shall we do next um i'm definitely making another video tomorrow for asthma treatment in children um and also please comment and let me know shall we do arrhythmias after that or we can pick each system and then um, we can do two three topics from that particular system um yeah just let me know what you guys uh, want to know uh, I can share my notes and the clinchers of that topic that I know. You know, 
GMC scenarios, it's very tricky exam. It's about the most definitive diagnosis, the most uh, definitive treatment, um, or just the diagnosis, just the investigation of choice, or the most definitive. Uh, I, I hope you guys are approaching the questions like that. Um, one day I can also um, share a video how to approach a question uh, because it's very tricky. Um, right. Thank you for now. Please like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye.